Yo, what's up everybody? This is your boy DJ Millie. We here, Cop Mars. Yo, welcome to another episode of Praça Azul. We yeah. here. We about to get into an interview with Vargas. Um, we're going to talk about his start in the game. We're going to talk about his, his new project and everything else that he's doing in the community. It's going to be a real great interview. Uh, also, we got some news. We got some sports. We got the spotlight of the week. We got the topic of the week. Yeah. Uh, Yes, 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 everybody. Your boy DJ Millie, right here is Cav Moss. Yeah, we got some news for you guys this week. Um, we definitely want to talk talk about and give a shout out to uh, Jimmy, Pereira. Jimmy Pereira for an amazing race that he ran uh, this 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 last few months. Um, he, he didn't win, he didn't win, uh, which is unfortunate for him. Yeah, but shout out, uh, to the guy, man. shout out! He did an amazing, amazing. job, dude. He, he got 45 percent of the vote, over 45 percent of the vote. That means he was like five percent short of winning the whole thing. This was his first uh, campaign that he ran. You know, the first time that he ran. And you know, he. he I just want to, you know, congratulate him, congratulate his family, his whole camp, everybody on his campaign that helped. You know, I mean, we, we don't really talk about who wins, who, who, who you vote for, who I vote for. You know, this is Praça Azul. We talk about what's an impact in Cape Verdean culture. And he, you know, he impacted it greatly, man. It was amazing. You know, like, think about it, right? Yeah, uh, uh, right? Yeah. He's been the mayor. He's been and the mayor for, yeah, two, yeah. two terms, man. Two terms, and now he's a kid. He's not a kid, but. Not, well, he's, he's 26. He's, he's yeah, very he's young. young. Exactly. I'm very, 25. very young. And you know I was, mean? yeah. So he tried and almost, like, that he was almost amazing. made it, man. And, and, you know, he just just the far, the way that he went about it, his demeanor. I mean, it's, it, you know, it's people. People were saying like you shouldn't vote for the guy because he's Cape Verdean. Of course, you shouldn't vote for somebody just because they're from a culture. But a young kid seeing somebody like Jimmy Pereira will be like, "Wow, it's man, that's that's you amazing." Know? You know, there's somebody that looks like your tío or looks like <laughs> your, my dad. You know, and he's doing it. He's he's doing it. He's doing it with class. He's doing it with with great ideas. And it's you know, it's too bad he came up short, man. But. 45 percent yeah that's a lot that's a lot i'm pretty sure the next time he vouched said, he said that he's coming back in 2019 hey. to do it again so yeah Jimmy definitely we hope to have him on the show also soon you know so we can give him an interview we got to meet him you know just yeah, before yeah. you know just before and uh you know he promised us an interview so yeah you don't know <laughs> he might be here next time so shout out to jimmy Pereira's family this campaign, the way, the way that it ran, we're really proud of you and uh, keep inspiring people and keep doing what you're doing, man. We're really, really proud. Appreciate definitely. That, definitely. Uh, now something, you know, it's not funny at all, but... Yeah. So, everybody knows, like, TSV, like, a couple months ago, you know, people that go to Cape Verde from America, from, you know, whatever country, mm -hmm. they're trying to come back. They couldn't come back. <laughs> There's no, no airplanes. And everybody's like, what are you talking yeah, about? No airplanes? Yeah, to stop, baby. Come it's, on. <laughs> yo, it's ridiculous. Like, people, like, I'm pretty sure some people lost their job. Yeah, yeah. I know a few of them. I know like, a few three, of four them. weeks. Yeah. I mean, no airplane. I can go back to the country. Exactly. But some Good news, news is, you know, uh, <laughs> Tiasive just got four new planes. Well, they didn't get four yet. They got two new planes from Icelander uh, and uh, they're going to basically start flying again, you know, consistently from from America exactly. uh, to Cape Verde and they're going to get another two planes in 2018. So it's looking up, you know, let's hope that everything is going to be better and let's hope for the best, man. Teasive, you know, we, we want to be proud of you guys. We definitely want to give you all the love, but all the love that you deserve. So don't let us down, you know, don't let us down as a people. But uh, yeah, four new planes coming. And uh, hopefully that'll change the service of the Asuvi. <laughs> <Damn. laughs> 
Yeah, on another note, man, uh, we want to shout out and want to give some love to Eddie Tavares, uh, the basketball player. You know, we got some, you know, we got some unfortunate news at the beginning of the year because he got he got cut from uh, from from the Cavaliers. But uh, I wasn't too surprised because this kid, like, I, I believe, like. A few years, he had never touched the basketball until like a few years ago. You know, exactly. he's, he's still developing. He's very, very young. This happens in basketball. You know, exactly. you come to a team, and then you know they. But they it's they, all about experience. It's though. about experience because they send him now to one Real of the Madrid. best. One of the best, you know, of course, your team. Yeah. They sent him to Real Madrid, <laughs> and he signed a three-year deal with Real Madrid, and he's gonna hopefully just you know develop his game. And just get better. I mean, the guy is seven. seven yeah. It's ridiculous. He's a beast. Like, he's, you know, he's going to get better. He's going to get stronger. He's going to understand the game from different angles and, you know, get experience and everything. And I'm pretty sure he learned a lot from the Cavs. Yeah, of course. Come on. He's been playing with uh, LeBron James. Come on, man. You know, <laughs> you at least got that. Got got a few moves that you were like, yo, I got to write that down. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. But, yeah. you know, he's playing, uh, this Sunday, actually, they're playing El Clasico, and I'm not talking about you soccer fans, I'm talking about basketball right now. Yeah. El Clasico against Barcelona, y'all didn't even probably know that there's an El Clasico, Real Madrid, Barcelona in basketball. No, nah, but it's always Clasico, even basketball, football. It doesn't matter what they do, right? <laughs> and he's even the way they play, it's yeah, always Even classical, if they, the gangs you know? go against each other, they're exactly, like, oh. yeah. Do I know you? <laughs> I know you. <laughs> Well, anyway, shout out to Eddie Tavaj, man. Uh, Definitely. You, you're making us proud. You made us proud here in America. You're making us proud over there, man. And I'm 100% sure that the NBA is going to pick him up again because this kid is just going to get better and better, man. Yeah. Uh, still yes, yes. So for the spotlight of this week, uh, for the people that don't know, spotlight is where we basically give love to, uh, you know, it could be an album, it could be... Uh, an organization, it could be an artist, it could be anything. And this time we're actually doing two things. We gave a love to an artist and an organization that brought him out here. Dynamo was in the country. He performed at Providence in the in the Fet venue, and I heard that he killed it. I heard that he killed it. And you know, we got to see him during the during the rehearsal, and uh, yo, it sounded amazing. We we didn't get a chance to go, unfortunately. And uh, we almost got an interview out of it, almost, but that's all right. We just save that for next time. <laughs> But we do want to send some love out to him. I heard he was amazing on stage. I heard he has a great stage presence. No, he does. Great though. voice, you know. Uh, and you know, uh, he sung like um, only one. Only one, yeah. It was like on top. Yeah, 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 Ever, yeah. Like, and congratulations, nice man! Congratulations, a good song. Congratulations that you got the number one spot on that song. Uh, yeah, we did hear that. You know, him and him and brother music kind of. You know, they 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 split up. But yeah. I did see. Uh, I did see uh, G uh, Georgie, I saw him in the video, so I'm pretty sure they're good. Yeah, of course, I'm pretty yeah. sure they're good, they you know. Fans. Yeah, sometimes the label, you know, does, doesn't give you what you want. Yeah. You know, doesn't mean you and your friends. Yeah, it can't be, can't be can good be with each other. Anymore, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, definitely. As long but, as they keep going and keep making good music for us to dance with. Yeah, yeah, but they do. That's the most important music, thing. Yeah. And he's working on his new album, uh, I heard, so... Yeah, shout out to Dynamo. Um, you know, we can't wait to get him back, uh, back in the country. And I, I definitely can't wait to see him next time he comes, man. And I also want to give a, a special shout out to DJ Victor and Cliff for bringing him out here, man. You guys, you know, you guys did an amazing job. I heard that the show was, I heard the show was amazing. And uh, yeah, keep doing that and keep, uh, you know, keep keep bringing the the nice vibes and the, the nice artists over here to America. We love that. We love to see that. Topic of the week is: Would you let your partner go to the strip club? <laughs> the thing is with me is like, I'll give you my my quick opinion on it. If your partner is going every week to the strip club, there's a problem. Okay, there's a problem. If he goes every week or whatever, and come on, there's something going on. Not something going on with him, but something going on in your relationship. Y'all need to check that out. <laughs> so one girl said, "Yeah, why not?" Doesn't need to be on a regular base though, but heck, I might join him once in a while. Okay. That's perfect. That's, That's yeah, yeah. She got it. Another girl said, if he's my partner, then I trust him. He'll know the difference between what's right, what's wrong. You can go there and have fun and not be disrespectful. Exactly. Another girl said, yes, together we could definitely go. And then she gave the stare. Yeah. That's, you know, together. <laughs> so one girl said, yes. Uh, you know, a trip to the strip club is not going to change anything in your relationship. If it does, that means it wasn't a relationship. That was a great answer. Uh, I got another one. Why not? I might join him. 
Sure, not sure. Why not live live free or die? As long as it's faithful. Like, but what what do women think happens at these at these places? Like, do they I think know. guys really go there to cheat? For reals, dog. Me, I go to strip club. I might look at two swings. After a while, I'm like, I'm just drinking and talking smack. If you have a girl and you really like going to the strip club and your girl tells you you can't go and you don't go, <laughs> that's not gonna fly for a very long time, okay? Eventually, you will break. <laughs> and that's when it goes wrong. I wanna thank you guys so much for, uh, you know, for answering and for giving your comments. It's really, really dope. I, I'm enjoying this so much, man, this, this, this topic. Welcome everybody, this is Praça Azul, it's your boy DJ Millie. The Kid Yeah, yeah. Yo, we have a very special guest with us today. Uh, this guy has been in the in the music culture over here in uh, in America for so long. He's been part of a few bands and he's uh, he's done his solo act as well. Uh, we got Vargas in the house, everybody. Thanks for having me, man. Welcome, definitely, man. definitely. Yo, so like, um, you know, I've always been a fan of you, man. I've always wanted to interview, especially your style of music. Um, when did it all start for you, man? When did, when did it start for you? Very early, very early. When I was uh, six, seven years old, mm -hmm. uh, doing a youth competition back in Fogo, uh, my main island. Uh, Where are you from, from Fogo? I'm sorry. Mosteiros. 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 Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to make some noise for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, it, it, that's where it all started. And then when I moved to Praia, uh, eventually I had to stay away from music mm -hmm. uh, for, for a little bit because school, you know, okay. especially back in the day, school was very hard. Very. Um, and couldn't I had, just you know, uh, combine the two, right? Nah, <laughs> nah. It, it, uh, over here, you probably could yeah. uh, because yeah. the system is really, really, really. Uh, easy to adapt to, but it came very the Portuguese style of school, man. Oh, <laughs> it's back in the days. Nowadays it's better, but back in the days it was tough. books on your bag. Oh, yeah. yeah. You had to study with like uh, uh, three books and, and like four notebooks for one test. Oh, wow. Know? That's <laughs> crazy. That's <laughs> so, crazy. That's so, crazy. But uh, that's where it all started. And then eventually when I um, uh, when I moved to U.S. back in 92, mm -hmm. 93, I, I picked up on it again, mm -hmm. uh, doing the, some some um, work with some band locally. Mm -hmm. 95, that's when the that's recording when started. started. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> in 95, if I'm correct, that was your your first band was Island Dreamers. Island Dreamers. Island Dreamers. Uh, Island Dreamers. Island Dreamers. We started we started practicing. We practiced for a full year in the basement before wow. we could come out and play. That's that's, that's really and we good, used to man. practice seven days a week. Wow, wow! Nobody wow. complained, and I don't know how come nowadays there's that uh, that 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 uh, issue, the dilemma with ah oh, we don't have time. But they don't want to put in the work. That's yeah, the thing. Yeah, we did, yeah. We did it back in the day. If you tell me you, you can't do it, I tell you, you know, you're lying because. Yeah. I know you can. You did it. We did it. Exactly. We've done it in the past. Who was yeah. part of that band, man? Island Dreamers. Um, there was me, Alberto Fernandez Nyo Nyo, who yeah. owns KSS Sound. Okay. Um, he's always been. He's the guy that took me under his wings uh, yeah. ever since I uh, came Definitely. to the United States. Yep. Um, so he's like a father to me mm -hmm. in, in, in music uh, sense. Yeah. Um, he. Uh, it, was, it was me, uh, Nyo Nyo. And then uh, we had uh, Peter, we had uh, Miguel. Oh, wow. um, uh, we, back in the days, we didn't have a drummer. Yeah. We used, everybody used to, not everybody, but <laughs> most of <laughs> us used people. to, we used to uh, play with drum machines. Oh yeah, the drum um, machines. They still, they still use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they still use, use it. Yeah, them, definitely. But, you know, the, the the drum the drum part of the music is is very awesome, and awesome. Uh, and I wish we we could afford one back in the days. But uh, and then. Uh, down the road came in Sandro. Sandro yep. came in He's and saying, joined yeah. the band, and we had. Uh, a couple but how more was people. how was that? Because you're, you're were you the lead singer with Sandro, or did you guys just switch up? When, when I, I came in, there was two lead singers already in that band. Oh wow! Yeah, there was already two lead singers, and then I came in and joined the band. Okay. Uh, it was right, you know, f uh, five six months after I came to the United States. The guy, one of the guys that lived nearby. Z2 that plays with uh, with uh, Uspekus mm -hmm. knew me from from the youth competition okay. and introduced me to the band, saying, wow. "Well, you guys need uh, someone like this because he is very versatile with uh, singing all different types of music." All different type of music. So yeah. they 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 wanted to try me out. So but you, when you came, you came to Brockton. 
came straight to Prague. Straight to Prague. Right. Never, lived, never left. Much, <laughs> I left here uh, uh, back in '96. I went to '94. Actually, I went to New Bedford for eight months and came back. So, oh, okay, so okay, I, okay. That's you never, my, never I'm a left. So, nice. Yeah, that's life. crazy. <laughs> that's nice. So the first but, album, so fly to fly. That was the first album that you guys dropped. Or was well, that a, that's the first single? album, but you know, uh, there was a little story uh, uh, behind um, behind this and who, uh, that led us to that album. Because okay. Island Dreamers was the band, you know, we started mm -hmm. strong. We used to go to Connecticut and play, and we had people driving behind us, like a uh, fan, like a whole to go watch <laughs> us, you know, like that is uh, really 10, dope. 15 cars with people going with us. Yeah, like, that's more we too. Because back, yeah, back in the days, you know, there was few fewer bands and groups uh, yep. uh, playing True. Than, than now. I mean, now you have like variety, and then people get to choose whatever they want. But uh, 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 eventually, when when uh, it was time for us to start mm -hmm. working on an album, some of uh, some of the members, you know, wasn't wasn't. It's not that they wasn't ready. They just thought we could have waited a little, a little longer. longer a little longer but okay. you know we saw the, the opportunity we because uh, Felipe Lobo had joined the, the group okay and Felipe Lobo had the, had the, uh, uh, had already worked uh, had experience in the, in the studio with Uspekus because he was a member of Uspekus okay. so he brought that knowledge, knowledge to, yeah. to the group yeah. so then we said no this is an opportunity we got to go for it That's good. and then uh, we teamed up me, Felipe, Sandro, and Yonyo, and, Yonyo. Okay. and then went on into uh, recording uh, our first album. Okay. The other members didn't want to join us, and then so that's why we had to change the, the group, yeah. the direction. Yeah, and that's when we moved, yeah, we, that's when creation, creation started. started. Okay, yeah. okay, and that's then what we I was. Okay. The first album in '95, Fly to Fly. And Fly it was to an Fly. Awesome. For me, till this day, is the best project I've that you been worked part on. Of. Yeah, it was okay. fun, probably. It was fun. Okay. Studio, like for the whole day, <laughs> we missed tons of hours of sleep. It took <laughs> us like a, like a eight, nine, ten months to record it. It was studio yeah. every single day of that's, the week, pretty much. That's crazy. Because for the kids, yeah, exactly, exactly. Because yeah, 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 for the kids starting now, like they don't understand that when you were making music back in the days, it was much harder. It's not like it is right oh. now that you you know make a mistake. Oh, just pick it up or whatever, just, cut it in pieces. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, that's exactly what I, what I was going to say. We, I, 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 uh, there's a song in that album that I pretty much sang for like 10, 10 times before mm -hmm. I got it right. Oh, wow. <laughs> and when you record it, you have to record it from top to, to bottom. From, yep. From beginning to the, to the end. To the end. There was no, there was no cut and paste. There was no punch me here, punch me there. Yep. Obviously, I'm not saying that this tool is bad. This tool is good. Yeah, yeah, of it's course. It's very good. I it's mean, good. I use it now, so why would I say it's bad? Exactly, it's, exactly. You know, it's, it, you know, it's a tool that, you know, the musicians put in place to help yeah. each other. Exactly. To help them in, exactly. into, into create great music, and I applaud them for it. Mm -hmm. It's an advantage for us, but, you know, don't overuse it. Yeah, exactly. Well, you've always raved about Alberto Fernandez being, you know, a big influence yeah, in your life yes. and, um, you know, uh, taking you under, your, under, under his wing and everything. Um, but who, who were the other people that you, that you were influenced by growing up and, you know, singers, uh, artists? Uh, well, uh, there's, there's another great musician also that, that, that had a lot of influence in my, my career too, is Norbert Tavares. Okay. I, I actually um, uh, used to to be on stage with him a lot. Okay. Um, they had a band, him, Galvão, and a good friend of mine, um, uh, Poulain. The, What's the name of the band? Uh, it's, it's, the, uh, it's, a, it's a group that put together. It's the group, it's, okay, it's a group okay. that okay. put together. Yeah. You know, right. They used to, uh, to play all over the place. That's cool. uh, so I, I joined them every, you know, every time they, they, you know, they, go, they go to places to play. I, I used to go with my friend Poulain, and, Mm -hmm. And I would sing with him. Okay. Get and some experience. Of course. I mean, yeah, that was cool. amazing because, I mean, Norberto is just an icon. Yeah, it's amazing. An icon, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. especially with older I, people. So. I grew up, yeah. you know, like uh, uh, listening to him. Maria Zinha was like when I was a little child. <laughs> you know, Maria Zinha Barrubera. That's, uh, I mean, that's. That's a classic. A classic, yeah. man. Exactly. And that he's one of the. Gives you inspiration. And of course, yeah. Not to, not to try to be like them, but. You know, to, you know it's good. good. To look forward and say, well, exactly. can I one day be be, like uh, be at in, in, you know level. at the top, exactly. you know, like he exactly. like he was, you know. That's crazy. And uh, and obviously, there's other people that that influenced me, uh, my career. Mm -hmm. I looked up for uh, you know 
to singers like uh, Grace Evra. His style is like style is this is the style that I try to to deliver to to the public as well. Okay. Um, but with my own terms. I mean, exactly. we all have our own mm -hmm. edge, you know. He's got he, he's he's an amazing. Uh, talent. Mm -hmm. He just dropped a, a killer bomb. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We and talked you know, about so it on the show. Uh, yeah. yeah, 18, 18 songs. songs. Yeah, that's, uh, that's volume amazing. one, and he's got a volume two coming up. Too, yeah, and he's right, a great guy. Crazy. So now we're getting into your uh, your first solo album, man. It, what was it? 2001. 2001 was first first solo, and 95 we recorded the group first uh, creation CD, and then 98 we had a second. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. No, hold on. Hold on. I got that too. Yeah, that was yeah. uh, Lumi. Lumi, Lumi those those meals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was that? You know how everybody was talking about those meals. You know, the world is gonna end. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it was like. Uh, uh, Lomi dos mil yeah. you know, we think, we gotta because, do yeah, we gotta yeah, do yeah. something before we leave. Before this. We die. Yeah. yeah, but that's amazing. You guys were part of it, though. Yeah, 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 yeah and, and, and we dropped it, you know, a few years before then, and then when uh, two thousand came, and everybody was like, oh, "So what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen?" You know, there was that, you know, <laughs> but crazy. you know, uh, uh, it's uh, it's it's um, it's things that that people say. Yeah, you know? no, <laughs> yeah. we were we were part of it. We yeah, all knew how that yeah. was. Yeah, but that definitely. was there was a that was like. Um, there was a, a CD that also had Isadora mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, present as well, uh, doing background vocals. Yep. That's when she started. She started with the band. Uh, we had Auxilia as well. Okay. Uh, we had a, we had formed a, a bigger group. Now we we had a full band. Yeah, together. like a full band. We had Pulan. Yeah. We had Chico on the drum. Background. We, yeah, yeah, exactly. We had a. We had uh, Filippi uh, uh, in, in another uh, keyboard, P Pedrinho, that's now in Cape Verde. Okay. Uh, Nyo Nyo was on the bass. We had Jose on guitar, too. We had two guitar players. Wow. And there was that's four band, singers. Yeah. Uh, you know, there was me, Sandro, uh, uh, Isidora, and, um, and, uh, and Auxilia. Okay. So we had a full band, and things were going very, very good for us. And then in 2000, that's when the, the, the solo started, you know, Isidora started doing hers, doing and in her 2001, yep. I started mine. You own. came yours, yeah, yeah and that was yeah. Honey? Honey, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was a very good project, too. It was my first uh, solo experience. Okay. Obviously, you know, up until now, I'm still learning. Yeah, and, uh, you but, never uh, stop learning. But the first said, one yeah. was... was um, well, you're just getting your, your feet wet as well, you know, <laughs> designing, trying to do everything yourself in your mind, how you want the music, how yeah. you want uh, 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 collaborations, you know, who do you want involved in the music and, and all. Amazing. That, that, that's the, that was the first experience and right now, you know. How do you feel like, you know, like back in the days, we didn't have all the social media that we have now? To, oh, man. You know, to <laughs> can, you imagine, can you imagine that album, Me and Isadora, yeah. with right. social media? Yeah, yeah I know, oh, right? Man. You guys were that, And the thing is, you guys were just We went before. platinum. Yeah. Right now, we'll, 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 we'll triple gold will probably I know. reach. I know. Uh, not, sure. not only us, everybody else that was yeah, recording. Because you did a lot of collaborations with her. How is your musical relationship now? You guys still working a lot? We still together? we still work a lot. Uh, you okay. know, and we had a we had a show done uh, uh, in Boston recently, uh, okay. me and her, and we are in in talks of of of, uh, of doing a, a duet for my solo album that I'm. Drop I'm working now. on, okay. working when, on when now. When do you think you're gonna drop? Because ah, I'm waiting for it. I, I want, I want it for, for next summer. Next I summer. want it for next summer. I, I've already right. got four tracks done. That's good. And it's gonna have a mixture of um, of traditional and um, uh, and uh, and so commercial zook. Okay. Uh, you're gonna name it? Is it like the volume? Because you've done volumes volume as well, right? That's volume, be... I, this one is gonna be volume three. Volume three. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect number. The other side of volume. You gotta finish it. You can't just stop it too, <laughs> exactly, right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because on yeah. your volume two, you had a hit single too, which was uh, vo uh, vo 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 yeah, yeah, that was yeah. that was that was a huge record too. Yeah, back then though, yeah. I had already gotten the experience of my first album, uh, yeah. the the collaborations with Isadora, because Isadora had three albums that I participated fully on, uh, okay. on. Uh, her first one, and then Corazon, and then On Minds. And then, uh, and then it's just her last album that I did just some chorus. We didn't have a, a duet, mm -hmm. but uh, I had gathered enough experience. You were comfortable. So, yeah. Now, you're, comfortable. now I know what I'm. Yeah, exactly. Know what I'm and doing then, now. and then I had, uh, I had duets uh, with her. I had duets with uh, with Jusela. Yep. Yeah, uh, as well. Duet with my niece as well, uh, Claudia. Mm -hmm. And um, and you know, I try to involve as much people as possible. 
man. Because I like to uh, get people's talent as well. You can of learn. Yeah. Oh, of the, course. I mean, we, we live and learn from each other every single every day. day. I mean, uh, whoever thinks that out there they can do an album by themselves and people to really enjoy it, no. it's going to be really tough, you man, if bring, you don't bring different flavors you bring to styles it. styles together. Yep. I mean, I cannot say that I am going to be, you know, the best in all different phases or different styles of music. I mean, that's impossible. Yeah. Do you have like your favorite song? Or I know it's hard to Yeah, tell. what do you consider your biggest song? Because Nya Sonia was, that was the yeah, platinum. Exactly. Yeah, was Nya Sonia is for, for four hours for both me and his guitar. It's, our, it's still our to top music. Top, yeah. top song, it's yeah, top yeah. Song it was, it was a platinum song? style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely, yeah, okay. yeah. Amazing. Definitely. That's what I, mean, I was yeah. thinking about. It, but you, know, you have Nya Mujer, that was, that was yeah. a big record as well. Well, it, 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 see, the thing is, like, uh, uh, the, the new style of Kizombas now, mm -hmm. it's music that, Unfortunately, dies quick. Ah, see, there's somebody. <laughs> you know why? Said, I didn't say it. He said it. You know, it misses it, the soul. When like you look soul. at when you look at Nia Sonia, it's classic. Yep. Cabo uh, Zook. Yep. It's classic Cabo Zook. Definitely. Right and I was uh, talking to my music producer. Uh, I always tell him that, Claudio. Yep. Of course, I mean, I uh, if you if you if you listen to Nia Mujer, this is the first time that I have done this style of music. Yep. True. And I'm not saying that I'm True. not going to do it again. I am going to continue to do it. Nothing, Mu mu great. It's yeah. music evolution. I mean, yeah. I have mm -hmm. to be able to to follow it and, and, and be able to, of yeah. course, to grow with it. Sure, but, you know, when you when you look back, for example, the music that we used to do, Isidora, Shusela, mm -hmm. uh, Kimberly, yeah. uh, uh, Sandro, uh, Rome, those yeah. music uh, from the 2000s, those classics. So, man. It doesn't die. It's a soulful yeah, records. Yeah, you can yeah. still go back and listen, to, still listen yeah, yeah. to all those music and be like, oh my God. True. That's yeah, like yeah, when you go true. to YouTube, you put like Cape Verdean uh, classics. Yeah, they show up. Yeah, they, they show up. They, show up. <laughs> they are classics. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm yeah. saying. I've seen you on stage. You do the traditional thing. You do the newer yeah. stuff, but you do it all. Like, what? how would you describe yourself as an artist, though? I... I, like I, you're not I love, you're not a traditional traditional art. You could do that as well, but you can. Right now, see, right now, if you listen to to, to Grace uh, album, you you will see the traditional music, but it's a commercial traditional. Yep. It's commercial yep. slash traditional, because uh, I mean, when you when you when we talk traditional, mm -hmm. we talk the ones that you that people are sitting in a, in a theater and listening to it. Mm -hmm. Now the the new style of like the traditional music now yeah. is the one that people wants to dance yeah, exactly, to. Exactly, like, exactly. People wants to dance to exactly, it. Exactly. You know yeah. when 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 Grace uh, started uh, recording Les Savines. Oh, Savi. Everybody gets in the dance floor. Everybody. You know yeah. oh, right now, when you listen to Incumen de Terra, yep. for example, yeah. uh, 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 or even even the, the music from uh, from uh, Asol, from from uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. from uh, uh, Lura. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah all, of them, Andrade, all of them. Yep. They 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 providing the traditional music, mm -hmm. but uh, with a dance uh, New uh, jacket uh, yeah. to it. You that know that people remember. You know that song. Uh, oh, Badger, think calma. It Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's a song like if you to, yeah everybody said but we can move but yeah, well, yeah of course no, when I DJ yeah. they always ask me to play yeah because, why yeah. because you know it's a it technically is a traditional uh, uh, music of fogo yeah uh, uh, you know the fray piada or the fray or the fray manda piadas piadas for for to Toby but then they put that dance flavor to it, and then yeah, it makes wow. people move. It makes them move. So it's an it's an amazing uh, uh, way, because we are creative. Exactly. Yeah. This is this is the thing about Cambodian musicians, Cambodian culture itself. We yeah. are creative. Very, we, very, we, very much. I think we are one of the most creative uh, uh, nations in Africa when yeah, it comes to when culture. It comes to music, yeah. But we tend to not value it to the fullest. Yeah. That's our problem. Now you've uh, you and Kr, you guys have been a. Uh, <laughs> you guys have been a match. Compadre, a very good compadre, you know that's that's a good friend. That's We're like brothers, and I am his his daughter's uh, 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 godfather. Godfather. godfather as well. Uh, wow. Exactly, and we started it all. We started it together. Me yeah. and Isidora was the first ever. Yeah. Sonia was the first ever in America uh -huh. that he produced. Oh, so wow. that was crazy. That was, that was crazy. Oh. Shout out to Kr. Yo. Kr, my man. Yeah, how are you? Like, how are you in the studio? Are you are you somebody that gets there and you're ready? How is your what is your process to making music? Do you write before? Do you have to hear the beat, or don't you have any rules when it comes to making music? It's a little bit of uh, of, of uh, both. Mm -hmm. um, I like to be 
in the studio, spontaneous, uh, the ideas comes to comes me to you. Uh, while I'm in there, in the studio. Mm -hmm. um, but for example, Nyamuje, Nyamuje is an idea that I sent to Claudio. Uh, uh, I, get, I can even give you the time, like uh -huh. 30 at night, I was like, <laughs> I got it. <laughs> uh, do you, uh, can you put something together for me, this, this, uh, with this, with, with this chords, yeah. with this chords, and with uh, the new uh, style of music that you're creating, and you, you know, Crear is, is for always. me, is the top now on that style. That's what I Nobody can tell talk. That's what I always tell him. Uh, I always you know, tell him. He's a young I, legend, I, I love a lot of producers out there, and I, 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 I respect them. Tip uh, my hat to them, but. It's not because me and Kai were friends. Or no, no, I agree with I that, man. I tell everybody that for me, right, it, because he's been able to, to grow mm -hmm. and um, differentiate himself at the mm -hmm. same time yeah. and be on top of any style of music that comes up at all yeah, times. He got it. He so got he's it. consistent. He's, yeah. people, he's consistent. And, yeah. Yeah, work with no, course. but KR That's KR why they come, they come to him because yeah, you know, he's delivering good. No, but you could go to KR. I've been in the studio with him that I said, yo, I want to hear and he just oh, yeah I got he you. does it I got you he and he it. picks it up right he's there definitely. and his, his, his ear is amazing exactly. yeah, I mean definitely. he's an amazing artist uh, yep. uh, and 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 he, he can work with you vocal wise as well as well he, yep. he helps a lot of us when it comes when it comes to melodies ideas for for the chorus mm -hmm. like you know, I sent him an idea and then he worked on it, and it was... I went to bed and when I woke up in the morning I had a beat <laughs> I had a beat I was like and it probably sounded exactly the way no, you were. Exactly. Yeah, no, you were like, this like, is what I want. I was like, this guy's amazing. And <laughs> then, that's a nice yeah, and then I had, the, I had the lyrics, you know, and I worked on it a little bit. Yeah. We, we, we set up a day in the studio. The only thing that, you know, we, we needed to work on it in the studio was the idea for the chorus. Mm -hmm. we, we got idea from him and from another person that was communicating with us. Yeah. This, goes, this goes to show you that I'm not gonna see him and be like, oh, I take all the credit. Yeah, I did this. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no. no. We, a we work as a team. Yep, exactly. We got an idea for another person that he was talking to. Mm -hmm. That's not even a musician. Okay, exactly. just an idea of what we we could have done that's on amazing. that on that on that chorus and, and put a nice a nice a nice melodic uh, song, song to it. out yeah, there. Yeah, and yeah. I, you know, people have been loving it. And uh, I did it for 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 my wife, the love of my life oh, too. Wow. To show her how much I appreciate her. <laughs> <laughs> Is it hard to combine the music life with the family life, or do you have it? To a certain, to a point, yeah. to a point. Obviously, you know, uh, uh, I am a, I am a businessman myself. I mm -hmm. I own my own business. Mm -hmm. uh, I do. What's your uh, business? I'm uh, hey, I'm, uh, I'm I'm here. I'm gonna take hey, advantage. <laughs> I, I promote myself. I do income tax. That's my yep. main business. Okay, I, yeah, yeah. Val Montero Enterprise LLC. That's my company. I, yeah. I had like 12 years experience with Liberty. I used to manage Liberty and then I started my own. Yeah, you saw it. Uh, okay. It's almost January, by the way. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> almost that time. And then I do, I do some, some, um, some uh, notary stuff as well. I have okay. some, some people fill out some paperwork, bring, yeah. bringing their family over yeah. from overseas. Because you, you, you have yeah. a bachelor in... I have a bachelor in business management. In business management, yeah. yeah, yeah I read so, that, I read that, yeah, definitely. How, so, was, how was that? How was the school? The school I had to put, put the school, the music, the family, and Everything. work That's all right. together. So how? if I could do do that yeah I could do you could do it. work family and music, and music. I can't yep. I mean uh, is, is, is it easy no, no it's, it's not, not. it's but not you want it so you yeah. go for it. It, yeah not only that your your significant other mm -hmm. or your your wife has to be yeah, uh, has to be supportive mm -hmm. exactly. and 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 you cannot take too much from them too exactly you know uh, uh, you have to uh, sort of balance it mm -hmm. you, you know there's time for work and and for example when it comes to that my wife knows that from january to april i i We're work busy, a lot busy, yeah, you know yeah. so she of knows course. she knows what to do to help me get through that that time all right and then uh, after that you know if i say well i am working on i, I even do projects with kids, uh, uh, wow. the singing competition that goes on, for example, that uh, Jusela's cousin has gone to Portugal a uh, few months back, uh, Dela. Dela, Dela, yeah. yeah yep, that's yep, my yep. project. Shout out to I am Dela. the oh, president. That's you? Yeah, I'm oh, the well, president. What's the, name? what's the name of it? This is, uh, right now, we started the association here in America that's called uh, 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 Happy Childhood Association. Wow. 
we are we are uh, um, a partner of um, uh, in France Feliz from Cape Verde, which is okay. presided by the ex uh, first lady of Cape Verde, Adelsa Peach. Oh wow! So oh, I've been working, amazing. yeah, I've been working with her since 2010 on this project. Do you have which, kids? Uh, well, we <laughs> kids. Yeah, I yeah, have a, a lot. Yeah. Seven of them. Oh, for real? <laughs> oh nice. yeah. there you go. There you go. So, <laughs> so I, so I, I hey, kids. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I I, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got lots of. Them. But the project is successful. It's, oh, it's, it's going. You know, uh, I can tell you, you know, we've helped so many young kids uh, uh, get off of uh, the street the and street, doing yeah. something bad wow. to do something positive, uh, to to expose, uh, you know, them. Uh, they show their talent through music mm -hmm. because that's the same exact thing that people did for me when I was a child. Yeah, you were a child so yeah. I try to give it back, mm -hmm. but I can show you a couple of people that came out of the project from now. From now. Silzani. Oh, Silzani is Silzani, our project. Yep. Oh, came really? out from our project oh, wow. in Praia. She's from uh, Carlos Sol. Carlos 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 Sol? Sol? Before she gets to Carlos Sol, she was in our project. That was you guys. Wow. Carlos Sol wow. saw her that? singing. And, and from like there, a, it, was, it, it is what it is. Over here, yeah. You know, I got, I we got the booklets that has all that. And Abel Jassi uh, started that band. Abel Jassi from back in the day. Yeah. With that. Calubana started on the Calubana, competition like wow. that. Me, Lucinha, uh, Tatiana. Lucinha, shout out you know, to Lucinha. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all of Amazing, us started yeah. from that project. But how, we, does, how does somebody like, let's say you have, you know, somebody watches this is like, yo, I have this talent. Do they contact they you? They contact me. They okay. contact me. I have a group of, uh, of of people that work with me mm -hmm. uh, here in America, and we we have an event every year. This uh, a couple of years ago, we we had it in um, in um, uh, Brockton uh, Brockton High School Auditorium. We, okay. had, oh, wow. we had kids coming from all over the place, over the place. from wow. from Angola, from from nice. Portugal, nice. from from uh, from um, uh, England, France. France. They all came. Wow. What's, the, what's the name again? The Go name ahead. of the competition is uh, Revelação Voices of Diaspora. That's the name of the of the project. But I, our association is uh, Happy Childhood Association. Happy Childhood. Uh, reach out to me on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, and, and if you have young kids between 12, 18, those are the kids that we try to promote. Those Definitely. are the, those are the, what we say, the risky uh, uh, age of, exactly. uh, of, uh, you conform. of exactly. You conform so we a try lot. to help them too of not being out on the street, but doing something positive, right. something helping right. themselves, helping the Kivarian uh, community, yeah. help the Kivarian culture. That's amazing. It, 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 uh, and I have time for all of that, yeah. for music, for, for, for family. No, because you've always Informate. done stuff like that. Because, yeah. well, CV, you know, CV is all over your lyrics, but you also wrote the song, um, Mushter, that was big too yeah. for, your, for your city. And you also was part of a project that, uh, uh, what was it, uh, Mushter Unidus? Yeah, so that was that. Yeah, we have we have Minis uh, Mustero, um, uh, and then we, we turn it in, in uh, Mustero Unido is uh, uh, the name of the association we created uh -huh. to help the the kids in in, uh, in needs in Cape Verde. Wow, <coughs> social stuff that we do as well. Even raise money for like hospitals raise, too as well. Right? Yeah, we yeah. we raise money for hospital. We actually me and the other group of people that we have in, in this group. Uh, raised enough money that we sent three doctors there wow. to Cape Verde. Those three wow. doctors yeah, did work in Praia, in Fogo, and um, they go back every year. They go to different areas in Cape Verde and do those type of work. We wow. delivered a machine, uh, um, uh, an ultrasound machine, oh, portable wow. one, That's that great. if you have people in the oh, mountains wow. that cannot get to the hospitals, they can go over there. And, and, you know, that that is awesome. Awesome. Yeah, we gotta yeah, get back. That was, that we was gotta crazy. get back. That's so the people amazing. from Mustero, they love Mustero. Yeah. Right? My girl is from Mustero. Okay. So <laughs> they. Well, always... I gotta give you a passport then. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> yo, but yeah, because this, yo, this independent game, it is no joke. Like selling your music, being able to manage yeah. it. Yeah. But. You've been also part of promoting, uh, like I see you promoting, uh, you know, events and stuff yeah. like that. I love to see artists promote because you see both sides of hey. it. You know how important it is to put money in the pocket of the artist, but also money, you know, for of the course. event. You know, of and course. that's how, how is that process going? Well, uh, uh, my the idea that I have for the feature is to, is to do that. Yeah. Is to actually be uh, 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 actually if uh, if God gives me enough years in in 
experience and talent and nah, and good. funds, obviously. <laughs> in time, yeah, in time. Yeah. To put this together, uh, I, I want to create my own label, mm -hmm. and I want to uh, do it all. I okay. want to be able to record uh, the new talents. I want to be able to promote them. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to uh, promote a show. Yeah. Now, having worked with like. Having worked with like so many artists, I mean, you've you've named them Easy Daughter, uh, Jusela, uh, yeah. Chesco, Chesco also, Kaluban, Kaluban. JJ. <laughs> I've seen you on stage with Grey. You've done like background vocals for artists as well. Yeah, like, yeah. what is what is that one artist that you're still looking like? Yo, that's somebody that I, I really uh, want to work Ever. with. Grace, Grace, yeah. Grace. from top Definitely. to bottom, man. Uh, he's a uh, he's you know he could do it all. Yeah. And as you can see, you know he he could do he could do great funana. He could do great. Zook, he could do great uh, 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 coladera, coladera yeah. you know, those amazing, hot yeah. coladera, and yeah. now more yeah. traditional as well. Uh -huh. uh, you know, if there is one artist that I can say that I can, I can still look up to, is him. That's for it. instance, like, do oh. I know, of course, you do, but to this day, you still listen, for instance, like uh, Tito Paris, uh, Il Dolobo, oh, oh. Bad, Il Dolobo, uh, Il Dolobo was, uh, was uh, uh, my, you know, I, I, I shouldn't say idol because, you know, yeah. the only one I could say an idol to me is God. Yeah. But okay, okay. It, that was when it comes to music. Comes <laughs> when it comes to music, you know, uh, uh, on that on that style of music, it was a guy. Uh, it was the artist that I always, always, uh, you know, global, yeah. Because we, you know, I, he used to go to the area where I was uh, living in Praia. Uh, you know, my my aunt's house. He, my aunt used to make pastel, and I used to bring pastel to that bar to go sell. Oh wow! So I used to go bring pastel, yeah. and he'd come to, uh, from work afterwards with his guitar, he'd sit right there. Yeah, yeah. I already was a really nice guy too. Yeah, yeah, very yeah, humble. Yeah, yeah. Nickel Verandia nice. and Sintalex uh, buys us the jam, and then I sing. <laughs> I, I would sing right yeah, behind yeah. him. And then one day he was like, "Chapali, Chapali," you know, we sing that Sintali. That's amazing. And I felt like then when 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 she got casa when I go home I was telling my my cousin yeah. like it's amazing I was sitting with the with the blue when he was he was yeah the legend yeah yeah and of he was amazing. playing and I was singing you know That's and that crazy. wasn't the time that I had stopped doing music because so I was in school oh, yeah. like the power I was like, yeah, the, the, the wanting to come back to music was amazing yeah, this but, is what I want you know wow, crazy yeah, man. I, crazy. I mean I love Tic Paris I, I love Bana Cesaria I, I sing a lot of Bana's music. Yeah, that's what I was going to yeah, say. Like, Paris, I sing, stage. Yeah, Paris, I sing. On stage, I, I sing a lot of the, yeah. those songs. And I am that kind of artist that uh, I do not have any problem singing somebody else's sing song. Somebody else's song. No, yeah. but that's, that's <laughs> you know, also part yeah. of the culture as well. You of know? course. I mean, you it's mean. part of the culture, getting on yeah. stage. And, and But, I, you know, there's some people that have the issue with that. Oh, you're promoting somebody else and you're not promoting yourself. Nah. That, that is uh, the most, uh, that is most that's untrue. Not. That's the thing that you can I say. think that's that's a, that's a, that's something that for the newer generation. Yeah, yeah. The newer generation the old, yeah. I'm telling you, man, it's always when yeah. I go. If I see you somewhere and somebody's on stage, I see they call you up. Yeah. You know, the Lucini as well. Yeah. Like they, that's yeah. that's part of the culture, it man. Is. Did you yeah. ever yeah. take like vocal lessons or anything like that, or was it just nah, just, just natural? natural. Experiment. But I'm gonna have to though. I'm gonna have to just for my uh, just for my. Uh, believe it or not, I only have one vocal cord that works. So what are you talking about? <laughs> only only my left vocal cord works. Really? My right one doesn't fight. So wow. I was I was uh, I put I posted it the other day in Facebook and a lot of people said, well, you know, it uh, works. It works really good. It works really good. So <laughs> it can only get better uh, if the other one works. But the thing is, like when I uh, when I sing too, I put a lot of uh, stress on the other side yeah. on the one that's working oh, yeah. because yeah, yeah. I am overusing it. Okay. Obviously, if the other one was working. The, the the harmony of the voice could have always could only get better. Only. So yep. I'm yep. gonna have to get some vocal uh, vocal training there. Okay, okay. Yeah. So what's in the what's in the near future for you, man? I mean, you're working on an album. Name of the album is gonna be Vargas Volume Three. Volume Three, uh, but it's gonna have uh, it's gonna have. Uh, I'm thinking about the the the, the title as well uh, because it's gonna have both sides of me. Okay. The, okay. the oh, commercial, wow. the commercial side of uh -huh. of my music and okay. the traditional side of my music. So, uh, I just recorded um, uh, um, uh, uh, Funanalento. That's oh, what nice. we call it, Funanalento, okay. with uh, 
with uh, with uh, King Alves, which is King one, Alves, of, the, Alves one is of the best amazing. producer yeah, yeah. when it comes to those, those style those of music. Of records, yeah. But he's good in all. He he's good in all style of music. Yeah, yeah. He's excellent. In when it comes to pretty much all of them. The traditional music, you know, he's uh, he's, he's he's great. So, me growing up, the first time I heard like that was me. I was in hip hop and all that stuff. First time I really like got into like American Cape Verde music was with CV Mafia and 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 what was it JJ and all those guys, you know. So they and they made it over there, you know. They made it over to Europe and all that. But that's what I always say. Like I look at the Cape Verdean music uh, climate here, and it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. It's, it's so much experience. It is it's a high level, but then when it comes to the promotion side, you know, there's a there's some lack there because yeah. I see people from all over coming here, like you said, doing great shows, and I want to see the same thing for you guys yeah. there. Where do you think is that? What is the issue there? Uh, well. I, I don't know what it is. To tell yeah. the truth, I mean, I, I can I can think of many issues, mm -hmm. uh, uh, many reasons that people may may think it. You know, our product will not reach the the, the goals that they they yeah. set for themselves. But it's not true. No, it's not. It's not true. I go to Cape Verde, for example, and when we do the show, people the the, it, the yeah. place is packed. When packed. I go, for example. Uh, um, I, I've gone to festival in Mustero mm -hmm. uh, with both Isidora and Jusela mm -hmm. and, uh, and Junior and we put good good shows good people shows, love yep, it. Yep. I've, I've played um, in Bombaga for example with a full pack place meeting in Isidora me and, uh, and Jusela mm -hmm. me and uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, what's her name I, no uh, Kimberly Kimberly yep pack people love yeah, our I style know, of music i know they, i was in Cape Verde in 99 2001 2002 easy daughter's album we're your stuck. album we're was stuck. it it blew up there i'm telling my, you my, like it for was example, crazy honey but, honey was uh, was a uh, top in cv for almost a year yeah, straight yeah that's amazing so how far are you so the album is like when when do you want to really stay for it what do you think i, I, I i'm shooting for summer Okay. Uh, because obviously when it comes January to April I'll be very very busy with, with my, uh, my okay. work yeah. so I'm hoping that by the end of the year I'm gonna probably have another three or four songs ready nice. and then after my uh, work is done a season mm -hmm. I can finalize it with the other two having probably about nine ten tracks okay, uh, okay. heavy balanced and awesome. Uh, awesome. hopefully in summer next year Nah, he got Next it, he got it. Again. I know, right? Next year we're going to be here promoting the album and everything. <laughs> uh, ladies and Thank you for having me, guys. Thanks for, having, thank you for coming, man. definitely, man. Thank you, man. This is DJ Millie. Kapmas. Takia Kapmas. Support them as well. Tanjun. Tanjun. <laughs> thank you so much, uh, Vargas, for coming through. I mean, that was amazing. We, we had we had so much fun, you know, with that conversation. It was, it was great. He put us on so much game about everything, you know, that's going on here, and especially his stuff that he's doing with uh, in the community, man. Yeah, that, that, was, that amazing. was that was really amazing. You know, yeah. I also want to thank you guys for viewing us. Uh, make sure that you 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 share, you subscribe, you like, you dislike all our social media at Praça Azul at Praça Azul, uh, and make sure you show us love next time. Uh, yo, thank you for coming through. This is your boy DJ Millie. Take care, Cap Moss. Time Jones. Yeah, yeah. Futuramente em bom senso, no passado extenso, se há medo eu não venço, se há gueto eu só penso no puto desamparado, bem fumado, 16 anos postulado, é isso fado, me há mal e entendeu, na dor não há saudade, ela nunca faleceu, e todos cometemos nossos erros, construímos casas que acabam em desterros, e há tantos anos, mas tão poucos sinceros, pois Deus nem ajuda quem baixou.